Being on this page, Shiburan will want to revive some of its electrical parts. For this, we took such a powerful lipo battery. It's polymer and high current one, and we also took 100 watt inverter. Let's go and see what happens. Let's connect it. Okay. Holy shit! This is insane! First we need to find something that's arrived here, but it's not an easy task. See what's here? We are trying to figure it out. Yes, yeah, so it definitely won't work. I saw a weird thing there, what it is. Everything here works on hydraulic, which is a little sad, because it won't work on electricity. There are a lot of tubes here. There is a kind of fuel tank, a lifting point, fastenin and a container. I just can't figure out what it is. We're now in the engine bay, so that is chance to find something interesting here. It looks like some kind of walkie-talkie. Well, guys, seems nothing survived here. The KD-160 diode was used with the screw capacitors. It's sad to see that they cut off such a cool cobbles. You see, the most interesting thing is that they are not even lighting bulbs. Where did they go? Maybe you know why are they not here? I don't know. This is a cargo compartment where Buran has to carry its cargo and it's clear that there is also problems with electrics. I don't know what it is, but it has a huge number of indent. We must look from below where they go. There is some kind of box, and it's empty here. They not even sold it on this side. Most likely they didn't have time to finish it. Horrible. There must be some kind of small engine or generator. There must have been some kind of light bulbs there. Wasn't that a lamp once? I also thought it was a lamp, but there are no words under it. What do we see here? All hydraulic don't work and electrical devices are all limitations. How much does all devices weigh? It's written that it weighs 400 grams. It's all plastic, it's all fake. It looks like there was no electrical devices here. Most likely electrical equipment was installed here. See, I don't understand anything. By the way, look, it's glowing. Yeah, maybe it's radioactive. Do you have a dosimeter with you? No. Okay, look, it's written that this is a dummy. Hmm, got it. By the way, there are lads here. It's strange. Press it down. Wow, it looks like a furnace. It's like a small microwave or refrigerator. How to turn it on? Gotta look. This is a dummy too. You see, it's wooden. And the lead is real, all from the 80s. I'm sure there are no wires there. It turns out that there is a model of microwave going from the USSR where found it. Can you imagine? So as you can see, there are no electrics at all. In fact, it has never been here as I understand. Also, there are some kind of wires handed in, but they are cut off. What are these things, feels you want or no, but they look cool. I found something. Look at this fan. It's also from the Soviet Union times. Maybe we can turn it on? It seems to be 220 volts and converters with our inventor. It remains to connect the wires and check whether it works or not. Let's connect it. So far nothing happens for some reason. Maybe the button should be pressed. Okay, there was something. No, that's from inverter. I feel that the vibration has started, it's blowing. Yes, it blows cold air. You feel it? I thought the inverter was making so much noise. It looks like an air conditioner, it vibrates so much, I don't know, did they use it in the space? Maybe the tension is not enough, or on the contrary, very high, because we don't know how many volts it actually was. It's exactly like an air conditioner. 
By the way, in the border that stands nearby, they see the conditions is even worse. They saw the photo on the internet and even the windows are broken there. What was that? The battery has fallen. I'll pick it up now. I don't know how the astronauts get in there. It's really inconvenient here. There was some kind of unit here, you see? I don't know what was there, but there are two connectors access to the cams. There are also some gears. Maybe we can try to start them. This, by the way, is the engine compartment. If someone didn't know, and this huge round thing above us in this package, this is initially a place for the engine. Look at that blue tank there. Probably the liquid oxygen was mixed with something, and there was a crazy reaction. And here is the engine itself, the jet nozzle is there. By the way, we will also try to revive it, but with a slightly different method. And this pipe, which you see now, the fuel was mixed and blown out over there. These are apparently tanks for this. There is another one, there is some kind of panel. Anton wants to set fireworks there. Yes, yes, let's give him a little life. Man, it's scary here. I don't understand how the astronauts got there. Don't you see the turbine here? It's above you on the left. I didn't get it. You are right under it now. It's above there? Look at me. There. There it is. Do you see that horn kind of thing? Guys, we took such a huge pyrotechnic fountain, especially for this. The main thing that it doesn't explode loudly, we're told that it should work quietly. So guys, I get into some kind of fuel compartment where the rocket itself, this is really something. Damn, it's scary. Now I'll set up fireworks. Victor, can you pass me the two-sided tape from there to here? Just look what a huge spaceship. So shall we bring this spaceship back to life? Come on, go for it, light it up. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah! Fly into space, bro! Crazy! We flew into space! That's not all. Wait and watch. This is insane! Damn! We launched it! Of course not as we would like, but nevertheless we got a bit of that feeling. Hope you enjoy the show. We really did our best for you. Alex, how do you like it? It was mega cool, it turned out dazzling. So Buran will breathe a little life into you even in this way, but it's better than just rot and rust here. I didn't expect that in the end it would be like... We decided to have some food right in the Buran. Be careful, don't burn the spaceship. There you go. Here, by the way, the burner is so interesting. There is a special mesh. Really? <laughs> Seriously? Whoa! This is the maximum fire. I think it's enough to heat up. It's economical, huh? Very economical. You see how it's heating up? I wonder how long it will take to heat up this room. I don't know, well... What do you think with Buran was so popular with, how it's unique? It was one of the spacecraft that flew into space and returned on autopilot. It can be said that it was a receivable rocket, why does it look like an airplane, because it can land. That is, it can take off into space like a rocket, then land, then take off, land again and so on. Therefore, there is a version that I have heard many times. Wait, can I make a guess? Go ahead. I hope it was not just a bomb. No. No? Not at all. They proposed it was taken off into space through means in space and at a certain moment descend to the desired higher the 10,000 meters and can drop anything anywhere in the world. Any bomb. In a sense, this means that the USSR completely controlled space and was winning the Cold War. It was like check and made. 
Yes, now look what happened. Buran flew into space in 1988, but in 1986 the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded for a reason, because the Jupiter plant was located nearby. Do you know what they produced there? Details for Buran? No, they made tape recorders there. No, that was a cover-up. So, what was in reality? Their Soviet computers were developed for military technologies, including the development Buran's brain. Well, not just brains, but special ones that allowed air to automatically land. It has never been done before. So in 86 they were working on it? Yes, there was a version that the Americans provoked an accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in order to stop this plant. The people were evacuated due to the accident, but the plant continued to operate until 88, until they made a full order. Order. They fulfilled the order, Buran was launched and was successfully landed with an accuracy of one meter. This was a very high indicator. Amazing. Yes, but the Americans still somehow influenced this all the USSR collapsed and all the other 14 Burans that were built didn't see space. Wow. Can you imagine? At least we saw them. You seem to have taken out all the cards on the table like checkmate. Yes. We are shocked, really. There are, of course, no facts that confirm this. <laughs> then we must go to the Jupiter plant and find evidence. Well, logically, what you said makes sense. At that time, it was very important to control space. Whoever controls the space controls the entire Earth. Buran could fly into Earth atmosphere from the space, drop any bomb and disappear into space again. It was powerful. In order to overcome the first 10,000 meter carrier rocket was used, Energy M, which we'll look at today, it was specially designed to raise Buran by 10,000 meters, and then, as I understand, it flew into space on its own. So it was like an additional jetpack, it took off and the capsule detached. Yes, and it further flew itself, that is, itself could go down or go up further, it could descend to a high of 10,000 meters and then go up into space. The fuel was enough, right? Yes, it could fly in space itself, but to take off from stretch it needs additional energy. Imagine this technology was invented by only one person. A huge number of scientists have worked on these, you can imagine how much work was put into these, but now it's all just lying around here, look, everything is destroyed, all these burans were supposed to fly in space, but... You told this story and I seem to have watched a movie, and now you brought me back to reality. See what's left here now. That's the reality. Your hair seems to have moved from the story. Where have all these hunties gone? Not in the U.C. by any chance? Most likely, <laughs> yes. Do you know how many Russians work there in Silicon Valley or Google or other developments? Where are they not in Russia? Maybe there is a good opportunity to prove yourself and live in peace. That's a pity. Now Buran is a talker hideout, but we'll go to cook food on this burner right on the wing of it. We're really hungry, hope it tastes good. Yes, let's go put a tent on the wing of Buran. Yes, we'll spend the night. Let's take a break.